Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. Hope you guys are doing well today. Our scripture comes from Romans chapter 12 verses 17 through 19. It says, Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Give careful thought to do what is honorable in ever, everyone's eyes. If possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Friends, do not avenge yourselves. Instead, leave room for God's wrath. Because as it is written, vengeance belongs to me, and I will repay, says the Lord. Today, our focus is going to be, or we're going to talk about letting God be God. Before I read what the devotion is, I want to—I am reminded by the title of this of the, a part in the movie Rudy. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's a story about uh, Rudy Rudiger, who becomes a walk-on at the University of Notre Dame, and he becomes a. a, a active participant in the practice squad doesn't get to play but the final game of the season his senior year he gets to play and 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 a game and he is dealing with this priest who helped him uh get his grades to where they needed to be so that he could transfer from holy cross over to uh notre dame and in a conversation that he had with him he says have i done everything that i can do and the priest tells him something that's very profound and goes along with what we're talking about today. He said, I've learned two things in life. There is a God, and I'm not Him. So today we're going to be talking about letting God be God. God had elevated Joseph's role and blessed him with a new family, but the past was about to come calling. As Joseph predicted, the famine hit far and wide, and Joseph's brothers were forced to travel to Egypt and buy grain. Genesis chapter 42. When they arrived in Egypt, guess who they had to deal with? Joseph. They have arrived at the part of this story that could have only been written by Hollywood screenwriters. You'll want to read these chapters for yourself. The intrigue, the drama, the emotion of Genesis chapter 42 through chapter 45 are incredible. God dropped all 10 of the offering or the all 10 of the offending brothers in Joseph's lap. It was reckoning time. But Joseph understood it was not his place to retaliate. Likewise, God commands us to leave things in His hands. And He can do a better job of settling things than we could ever do anyway. That brings us to today's question. Are you prone to take matters into your own hands? Or do you trust God to deal with your offenders? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Father, that you are always on our side. You're always there to lift us up, pick us up, and dust us off. And Father, when we are offended, help us to lay that offense at your feet, that you may be God, because you are God, and we are not. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.